Hello and welcome to all my Mariner friends, let's discuss Intervention Convention. Intervention Convention relating to intervention, on the high seas in case of oil pollution casualties, 1969. Adoption in November 29, 1969. Enter into force on May 6, 1975. Initially convention was intervention convention in case of oil pollution casualties, and you can intervene, means the coastal state can take protective measures, rather than waiting for oil to reach the EEZ. As in CLC and bunker convention, the pollution damage within 200 nautical mile. But, what about the beyond 200 nautical miles, or EEZ, where EEZ is declared to be less than 200 nautical miles. CLC and bunker conventions have provisions for the preventive measures beyond EEZ. Scope of this intervention convention, it gives authority to the coastal states to carry out preventive measures beyond the EEZ. Intervention Convention 1969 is very old compared to unclose 1994. So where is the high seas? As beyond 200 nautical mile E zone, the state has the authority to intervene, and in coastal water states has authority to intervene. So between, beyond coastal water and within E zone, the state does not have authority to intervene. Beyond coastal water, dilution of authority of states. But when we talk about the high seas, beyond the territorial sea, it gives you full authority beyond the EE zone, as well as gives the authority beyond the territorial sea. So beyond EE zone, UNCLOSE gives authority to exercise beyond the coastal water. Intervention Convention gives authority to states to exercise their power against any oil pollution. Article 1 talks about authority. Giving authority to coastal states, an authority can be exercised. No major, shall be taken for warship, ships owned or operated by a state, and used for non-commercial operations. Article 2. Oil, means crude oil, fuel oil chemical, and diesel oil, and lubricating oil. Only these four oils are, covered under this convention. Article 3. 1. Before taking any action the coastal state shall take consultation with other states affected by maritime casualties, particularly with the flag state or states. 2. Coastal states shall notify without delay the proposed measure to stakeholders. 3. In case of extreme urgency requiring measures to be taken immediately then coastal states start taking measures without any notification or consultation or without continuing consultation already begun. 4. Taking protective measures to save the environment and safeguard to related interests, saving human life is the supreme priority and assistance to the person in distress. 5. The measures already taken, shall notify without delay to other states, FS and coastal state, and physical or corporate persons as well as to the Secretary General of the organization. Now question can be asked by examiner. If, there is controversy between the parties, for the compensation they received, then how they will proceed? Answer for this is, any party took measures as per present convention, and these measures are causing damage to others. Then the party shall be obliged to pay compensation to the extent of the damage caused by measures. If there is any controversy between the parties, then first option is negotiation between the parties. If negotiation fails, then go to conciliation. If conciliation also fails, then go to arbitration. If still there is any dispute, then the option is to go to the court. The party who took the measures shall not be entitled to refuse a request for conciliation or arbitration. Thanks for watching. 
please subscribe and like. I will be adding more videos. Please feel free to ask any question related to MMD India.